For hands-on exercise number four, I really like this hands-on exercise. I want you to start with this slice. So you just put that into the GoLang playground and then append to that slice this value and print out the slice. And then in one statement, append to that slice these values and then print out the slice. And then append to the slice this slice, and I'm gonna make that Y, <clears throat> and then print out the slice. So we're gonna do all those steps. So go do this hands-on exercise yourself at the GoLang playground. And uh, if you want, tweet to me, get your little code and get the share button. Tweet to me your solution on Twitter, just because it's kind of interesting and fun for me to see. And, uh, and then once you've done all that, um, come back in here and you can watch the solution. I'm gonna show you how to do it, which I'm gonna do right now. So here's the solution. I get that first line right there and that's the slice I'm starting with. And I'm gonna just get a print statement. Boom, there we go, that's easy. And I'm gonna put that slice right there and I'm gonna append to that slice, x is equal to append 2x, the value, <clears throat> the value I'm gonna append is 52. And I'm gonna print out x. And I'm gonna need a couple of x print statements, so I'll just put a few there. And if I format that and run it, that step should run, and so I've appended 52. And then the next thing I wanna do is I wanna append several values to x, so I'm gonna append. And remember that append is a built-in function that takes a variadic number of parameters of type int. And if we go to GoDoc and we go to forward slash built in, right? So I'm going to GoDoc.org forward slash built in, just making sure I spelled all that right. And if we look at the index here, we see that append takes a slice of some type, right? Slice of some type. And you can append a variadic number of elements of that type and it returns a slice of that type. Right, so a very act number of elements of that type means an unlimited number of elements. So we could do one of that element, or we could do 53, 54, 55. Uh, unlimited number of elements of that type. And we ask for 53, 54, 55, right there. So now I'm going to uh, format my code and run it. And we have 53, 54, 55 has been added on. And then we're gonna do that thing where we unfurl and that's my word. <laughs> I don't know what the right word is from the language specification. I should look that up. But we unfurl this slice. And so to do that, we have that slice. It's a new slice. And we're going to, going to again, do a, a x append to x. And we're going to do y, but we have to say take all those values and dump them out. Because the, the definition of this built-in function append doesn't to say it takes a slice of the type. It only takes unlimited number of variables of the type. So we have to take that slice, that slice right here, slice of int, and we have to say just dump the values right here and append it. And then I don't need that last one. So that should append 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. I'm gonna format the code and print it out. There we go. Cool, isn't that a cool solution? I like that problem. I thought it was fun. I hope you did too. <laughs>